My name is Eric Mitchell. I'm a drone pilot and a helicopter pilot for Apex Drone Solutions, based here in Montgomery, Indiana. Joined the military out of high school. I ended up here in Indiana. It's an agriculture hub here. It seemed to be a natural fit for us. I started spraying with helicopter. I was really bad at it. So after that, I pretty much made it my mission in life to learn how to do it. Once I learned how to do it better, I became obsessed with it. And after that, I just kind of kind of rolled with it and then left JBI and started my own brain company. And that was uh, kind of what segued us into the drones. Well, looking back at the technology, when we were primarily helicopters only, uh, the drone technology compared to today, the, the growth in the, on the hardware side and the software side, it just seems like we're making huge leaps and bounds forward. So today we're out here in the cattle pasture. Primarily we're going to be spraying for broadleaf weeds. We want to keep the grass, we want to kill the weeds. So we're going to be going out here today and, and mapping the, the field with a Mavic 3 multispectral. We're going to be reconstructing that field with a DJI DRTK2 base station. RTK base station is going to imprint the metadata on all those photos and then we're going to send those boundaries, the uh, obstacle boundaries as well as the spray boundaries up to the cloud where we'll be able to download those onto the T50 remote and execute the spray operation. DJI Terra is a post-mission processing software and with the agriculture subscription you're able to take the raw images with the RTK metadata, we're able to reconstruct those images into one large ortho mosaic then has all that metadata imprinted all over it, and then push them seamlessly to the Agris cloud. So for us, it's a full service solution. In the field planning workflow, we're identifying obstacles in Terra, and when we build out our boundaries, we're gonna create an offset or a buffer to safely operate in that environment. So we use Smart Farm every day. I mean, it's, it's on all of our phones, all of our tablets. Uh, we use it for, for crew management, for workload management, it's a key part of our workflow. It gives us visibility to what's been sprayed, kind of where we're looking at, what we're looking at for the day. It allows us to, to also break up batches of work for specific crews. Uh, we're gonna be using the, uh, the Agris T50. It's great for terrain like this. It's very efficient, it's fast. Radar works great for being more preemptive on some of the terrain changes. So the poor sprinkler configuration is ideal for higher rates. So a higher total mix application. We use a baseline of four batteries per drone. Anything less than four batteries, and if the temperature's high, the batteries don't have enough time to cool down. So by using four, we're able to rotate that through and we're able to shed that heat load throughout four rather than three. So we're gonna go in there one time with a with an RTH height set that's suitable. We're not gonna get in the wire in the event that it does RTH automatically. So we can send it in, it's gonna spray the wire out that section, and it's gonna come back. So operating the T-50 on pre-mapped fields, where we've already got a lot of the work done for the pilot, where they can just pull up to the field, unload the drone, set it up, they've already got the fields loaded on the remote. We see in a typical day, 50 acres an hour with the T-50. That's a huge improvement if we look at just two years prior, you know, with the T-30, we've, we've increased our uh, two, two to 300%.